Hi, Christy here, and today I am making fried rice, and it's just kind of the generic sort of a recipe. Um, there are definitely variations, but um, this is the basic recipe for fried rice, and of course it's going to be done vegan, and uh, it does not need eggs or meat to taste good. <laughs> And then we're cooking the rice for 25 minutes. I'm using jasmine, organic jasmine rice this time. Um, you could use brown rice or any type of rice, except for probably like you wouldn't want to use sticky rice. <laughs> That's the only, uh, only one that I wouldn't use. So we have these uh, mushrooms and bell pepper, onion, and carrot. And then we're also adding into the mix some peas, and snow peas, so sweet peas and then snow peas. Um, and you can really add anything you want to fried rice, but um, these are kind of, I'd say the three most important ones are the carrot, onion, and peas. And you could, you don't have to add those either because I've had some amazing fried rice with uh, pineapple and um, cashews and tomatoes and it's good anyway you know like in Thai basil and it was a Thai fried rice though so this one is going to be more of an authentic one um but really it doesn't have to be you don't have to make it you know like specifically anyway um these are just what I had available these were from our garden and they're like amazingly sweet and I normally use frozen peas but then I realized we have fresh peas so that's even better um and then of course I add a little bit of garlic and then this is my ginger, it's got a defrost um, because I keep it in the freezer. When I buy a lot of it, I just save it up and then I use it later. So that's the frozen ginger. Okay, so we are getting this uh, skillet. You could use a wok, I don't have one, but uh, this is what we're using. We're gonna get it extra hot, so I've got it on nine. And then I'm adding, that looks like a table, mm, like a half a tablespoon of to sesame, toasted sesame, and you could skip this part, but just be very careful and stir it a lot if you do, <laughs> because it would stick. It, it'll stick either way. Okay, so I just added the vegetables. You want to make sure you don't let your oil smoke, like uh, what's going on here. But uh, <laughs> it happens. It'll add some extra flavor. <laughs> So just keep stirring it a lot, um, and stir, stir, stir until, I'd say probably about five minutes, and until your veggies look like they're starting to soften a little bit, and then they're done. So basically you want to keep this on about nine or a high on the burner, and you definitely don't want to burn anything, but if it browns a little, that's just fine. <laughs> Okay, so those mushrooms are really sweating now. Um, yeah, nothing's burnt. <laughs> I had to check. Um, you definitely don't want to burn it, but, you know, stuff happens sometimes. I'm going to turn it down to low. And let's see, so I just added three cloves of garlic, mint, and some ginger. I'd say about a small thumb. And then I'm going to add in the snow peas and the regular peas. And just let those cook in with everything else. And just keep stirring and stirring. Okay, I'm going to turn this off because it is still a little hot. It's still cooking. <laughs> and at this point, the veggies are ready to be added to the rice. And the rice has about two more minutes on the clock. So just in time, pretty much. So the rice is done. And basically you just want to like toss it and very carefully stir it. Oh, it's steamy. So what we're going to do is be cooking off a little bit more of the moisture and I've turned the burner on to about six. So we don't want to like uh, burn anything, but yeah, just very gently toss. And then the last thing we're going to add is tamari. You could add any nama shoyu or even Bragg's aminos, anything that you, uh, whatever, you know, you need. Um, yeah, because this stuff, I like this stuff. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper and then we're going to dish up. 
Okay, and it's done. I put a little bit of garlic chives on top. Um, I would normally add green onions, but we had some of those fresh, so I decided to put those on, and it is all set. I added about four tablespoons of the tamari, um, so you would probably want to adjust that to taste, and the salt and pepper too. So just add, you know, the amounts that you like on that. Um, I added about probably a teaspoon of salt to it, and then the four. So it is a, uh, it is definitely to my taste. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'm about to dig into this.